Can you share with us a little bit about the origin story of why and or how you found this dharmic path? Yeah, you know, I, I bring it back to meeting a health coach in New York City and being inspired by who she was and how bright she was and how she was just doing this, just any, everything she did was enticing to me. I was like, oh my goodness, like she was running a wellness center, running events, going to these Burning Man parties. That's how I, you know, found uh, uh, Burning Man. And then I got me to Burning Man, meeting all, oh my goodness, not only was it her, but there's a whole slew of people that are bright and possibility driven. And it's like we found each other. And then I was like, wow, I want to bring more of this into my default world because I'm running a New York City agency. I'm in very much the grind and the hustle of that, managing a pretty large team and in a tough industry, very competitive industry. And I didn't want to do it anymore. I was like, I was hungry for change and met these people and realized like I should be putting my marketing to this, like the things they're about and what they're focusing on and what the education products they're creating is more what I want to see pushed out into the world. Yeah. I, I join essentially a business and coaching group called Mind Money Meaning. And, and I met all these amazing people and I met the people they were inspired by. And so this piggyback effect of inspiring people, knowing and learning from other inspiring people. And so all of a sudden my world goes from feeling small where I don't know, I basically know the world that is to holy cow, like the whole world is my oyster. And in that, I got exposed to the idea of taking a trip to Peru and exploring this incredible experience with ayahuasca and, uh, and San Pedro. And again, like the seeker in me, I, I guess I was, I had reached the material success and I wasn't fulfilled. So you had that dharmic thing. I do believe there was something hungry. I had a hunger in me. It was seeking. And so much so that I was willing to go to Peru and take this thing that's going to make me throw up. What am I doing? In hindsight, I look at that. Like I'm, I'm running this New York City agency and I'm going to Peru and doing these like experiences. But I actually went with my ex-wife now at the time uh, and several other purpose-driven entrepreneurs that I, I'm still friends with today. And that life, that trip set the course of what happened next. You know, that mm. was probably nine years ago now. I, I was looking for answers and I got answers. Go figure. I went down wanting to know what to do with my life. And the answer I got was that it's not about what you're doing. It's about how you're doing it. Mm. Anything you do with love, you'll be yes for. Mm. And I can't tell you how much faith that brought to my heart when I look back of knowing that it was never about what I was doing. It was always about how I was doing it. And was I bringing the, the energetic of love? Mm. And if, if I was, then it was trustable. And mm. if I wasn't, then I knew I needed you to, to do my work. How do you discern if it's love or not? Is my heart open? Or not, like I said, there's a contraction, feels like contraction. It's tight. It's shallower breath. Expansion feels more expansive. It feels like you take deeper breaths. It's usually slowing down. There's a rhythm of nature. It's usually aligning more to that. You could feel it when you get defensive, like your heart contracts. I it's the, that idea of opening your heart is a hard one to describe, but one that I think we know it when we feel it. 